everybody, this is Robin Moses and I'm going to be doing a pinup for St. Patrick's Day. So I've started with, okay now I've been wanting to do a traditional pinup for a long time and I haven't had a chance. So I'm going to start with one of these, but I'm going to do traditional pinups over the time. But it's just, I can't, I don't have enough time to, to get all of everything I want to paint all out at once. So I just do whatever I can. And today is um, the holiday, so... I am going to put my holiday pinups on there. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm uh, putting in her her body like this, and it doesn't really make sense yet, but it will. I'm just putting in her um her shadow and working my flesh tone. So I am going to put in her shoulder and put in her her middle section and her leg like this. And then her other leg well her calf. And then I'm going to do the bottom part of her foot like that. Just leave her foot. Okay? Then with the other, go behind and do the back leg like this. And fill it in like that. Okay, and then with, um, now that the legs are in, I put the arm so that it looks like it's coming behind the leg. See how it does that? And then um, I am going to put in her chest area right here like this and set, like get like a bit less of a line right there and then I'm going to put her face in see a lot of people put the face in first and then you know you have so much fun doing the face or, or you have you know you spend so much time doing the face that by the time you get to the body and you get all that it just takes hours to get these painted so it really is better to set your ground and, and get all of this done all at one time as a unit because doing the face and the head first is really a waste. It wastes a ton of time. I could spend an hour just doing the face. Okay, I'm going in with a lighter flesh tone and I'm doing in some highlights so that she looks more 3D. Okay, so now we're going to dress her and um, we are going to give her a little beer maiden outfit. So so I'm, I'm putting in the little little um, white ruffle shirt like this going across it's just going to be a little tiny cute ruffle off the shoulder ruffles bing 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 like this and when she's like this now um, I would put the suspenders but because of the angle she's at you're not going to be able to see them too well so I'm going to leave them but if you put her in a, I might do them on the other angle. So, as for her skirt, I'm going to go down low, right here, and then just kind of put the skirt like this, like that, so that she is wearing a little mini skirt, maybe a tartan one, and we can hatch it like that. And then um, for hair. We're going to make black and curly for fun. <laughs> and, and the other one's going to have red hair like a little leprechaun. I'm going to put on her little hat. So she's going to be wearing like a little hat like this. little leprechaun hat and um, I'm going to finish her hair and her face. Oh, should I do her face on camera? It's a... Uh, okay. Oh, I know what I want. Okay. With black and uh, green, I want to put her shoe. Okay, you want to take her shoe, push down, push up, push in, down, over, and up like this. 
and that gives a perfect little shoe. How cute is that? Okay, and then um, on this shoe, I'm going to, um, it, it, it barely, barely shows here. So I'm just going to go like this and um, finish it out if, if by, because it's going to take a minute. But um, for her face, because her face is at an angle, I'm going to go in. This is the hardest part of every job ever. If you can't do this, just do your best and put sunglasses on them. Everybody will understand. Okay, and um, here's the eyes, and then the nose, and then the mouth, and then the chin. Okay, now with the tiniest, tiniest amount of clean, uh, skin tone, you want to go back over and give her her chin and hatch it out to where she has her face showing. This is very very tiny and very detailed and to be able to talk and teach you guys at the same time as I paint it is like really hard so sorry with the tiniest tiniest amount of red you want to go and give her lipstick and then I'm going to go with um, my black and just the, the most thinnest thinnest black line that you can imagine I'm going to go and hatch her a line so that she looks almost like a little drawing well she is a little drawing but she's going to look like one and that. now you can leave this you don't have to draw the line around her legs and her and her um body okay okay so now um, what I did I forgot to totally film was I went across each one of the um, the ends with little clovers and um, how I did that I'm just gonna go back over quickly because I boom 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 and then I just went over and then just made little lines through so that it looked like this okay and um, all this, all this is, is it's, it's like, it's kind of like hashing up where I'm doing the fishnets, and it's really, really cute. So now I'm gonna do my other pinup girl. Oh gosh, with the tiniest, tiniest line ever. I'm gonna go in and give her little tiny suspenders. Okay. Now this one's gonna go over her boob area. like that okay so that gives her her suspenders okay now with um the gold I'm just gonna go in and give her like a little faux bu a buckle right here just to make it look like a cute little faux derby hat there we go and um then just just a little tiny just tiny little dots of white everywhere where she's gonna really stand out when I top coat and um then oops there she goes. There's the little white. You'll see it. Where you see where I'm top coating. Okay. And then on these, I'm just gonna go in here and there and add a little tiny bit of little black areas. And it, what it, what this does is make it look a little bit more like fishnet. Okay. Now with the best glue ever, I'm going in and um, touching in into the shamrocks. I'm gonna add just a simple. Uh, what do you know? Clover Glam by Enos. Okay, then I'm just going to go in like this. See? I'm not going to bully it in as much as I normally would because I don't want like a whole bunch of it on there. I just want each one to have a little tiny bit of sparkles. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and then see how she's covered? There. See? It's just left right with the glue. 
Okay, now into the, the last the last part I decided I wanted a little tiny bit of black glitter just to add a little bit of shadow and to touch up and highlight the bottom area because the green area is so pretty and glittery that the bottom area is kind of is kind of gonna look a little flat unless I add a little bit of color and dimension down here. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some black glitter and just kind of pushing it in, 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 just a little bit so it's a little tiny bit shiny at the bottom. Okay, it's that time of the day where I don't know exactly how the light is going, so I'm going to try to get down there and get as close as I can. And I hope that you can see these really good because they're really super cute. And here are my pinups for the St. Patty's Day with the little, um, the little fishnets and the little shamrocks over the fishnets with the glitter. And these are really super cute. And if you guys try this, I really want to see them. Please post them on my blog or on, I mean, please post them on my Facebook group page if you paint them. And um, it's Robin Moses Nail Art. And um, I'll have better pictures of these on my blog and on my Facebook. <laughs> I get confused. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a wonderful holiday. And I will talk to you later. Bye.